Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness, and I tried to do a live video earlier, but something's going on with the connectivity, so hopefully this one will go through okay. Um, so I am talking about taking the day off today, and before I get into that, I want to let you know I have a new program out called Turn Your Life Around in Six. It takes all the tools that I have made and put together over the past 13 years between being a personal trainer and before that being a physical therapist assistant. I've taken all that knowledge and I bundled it up into this one program along with guidance from me. So you can check it out at shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Click that button. You'll be taken to the page. Fill out the form, request a phone call with me, and I'll be happy to talk to you. So we're talking about taking a rest. Um, if you are working out and you've been very consistent and you uh, consistently are working out every day, I know a lot of people like to work out every single day. And that's totally fine. It just depends on what you're actually doing on those days. But it's also really good to take a day off and rest. Now, I'm not saying sit on the couch and eat bonbons all day, but I am saying just step away from the weights, especially if you're doing especially resistance training, just take one day off during the week. Again, this depends on what level you're at. If you're a beginner, you might need to be taking more days off um, initially. But so what you want to do on those days that you take off is you don't want to be sitting on the couch, but you can definitely go for a walk, be active. Um, a lot of times I take those days and um, clean my house, um, which is a workout in itself. Then you can also do some stretching, some yoga, some Pilates. Um, also taking a mental health day sometimes is good too, just to kind of clear your mind out and kind of um, recommit to your goals. It's always a good idea. And the reason why you want to really take a rest day is because a lot of times if you're lifting weights, the whole premise of building muscle, that sounds awful, but you're basically tearing the muscle fibers. And what happens is, which is kind of really cool if you are interested in the body, but the muscles, once they're, they're torn, when they rebuild, they rebuild stronger. It's kind of like your bones. Um, a lot of times when you break your bones or when you stress your bones, um, the bone itself actually gets stronger. So when you are doing that muscle building phase where you're tearing down the muscle and you're trying to build it back up, it's always important to take a day off. Again, everybody is individualized. Me personally, right now, I'm doing six days a week of training. I am not doing full body every day, so it is mixed up. But then on that seventh day, I take off. A lot of times it's, um, you know, a day where I can just kind of do other things. And um, it's a mental break too, so it gives your body a rest. So I'm hoping that you are taking a rest. It is Friday and it is really beautiful outside. Um, if you're in South Jersey, maybe you're heading to the shore. And if you're not from South Jersey, just to clarify, when you, you always say you're going to the shore, but when you get to the shore, you go to the beach. I don't know why, <laughs> but that is the way it is here in Jersey. Um, so if you are going to the shore or the beach this weekend, I hope you enjoy yourself. If you are interested in diving deeper into your own results and getting a program that is designed for you, go ahead and check out my You Can Turn Your Life Around in Six. It's at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, T-A-L-L. -L. Click on that button to request a call, and you'll be taking to, taken to the Turn Around in Six um, form, so you can fill it out. All right, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below, and thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great Friday night.